I got into Dress Up Darling recently. If you guys haven't seen already, I did my hair inspired by the main character from Dress Up Darling. Her name is Manin and she is fucking cute and then I was like dude I already have the hair I might as well just do this cosplay I already did my foundation off camera just to save some time because I have the same foundation routine since like two years ago um, it's just the super goop unseen sunscreen um, which also works as a really good foundation base and then also the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer a tie oh fuck yeah I got a tie. Somebody tied this for me because I don't know how to tie a tie. Oh, it looks really good. Oh, fun, perfect. Ha ha! The blush that I just put on is my favorite thing in the world. This is the So Soft um, Cream Blush Stick from M Cosmetics in the shade Baby. I know people on TikTok were talking about how it's like the softest blush in the world and it's so fucking true. I'm gonna be using my uh, Prim Rose palette from Anastasia. Um, please ignore the fact that like half of this thing is smashed. I was traveling with this and she did not survive. And I'm just gonna set my set my cream blush with a little bit of this powder um, just because like, I don't know, I'm probably gonna be sweating a little bit as I'm breaking and entering and I don't want my like blush to be sliding around. Oh, by the way, this is Casio. <laughs> He's my nut cat because she just has like really light peachy lips I'm just going to be using a colored lip balm. This is from Etude House And I just bought this as like a random thing that I found like in downtown one day because I ran out of lip balm by chance And I was like, oh shit, my lips are so dry and I just like went in a random store and bought a random chapstick and I really like the color so I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss on top this is the honeydew lip mask from then I met you for my eyes I'm going between uh, my Anastasia primrose palette and also my new love the Pat McGrath mothership palette I had wanted this for so long and it's just been my favorite thing in the entire world I feel like after using Pat McGrath I can never go back to another eyeshadow palette ever again because they're so good they're really expensive for sure but definitely like worth every penny because everything is so pigmented and gorgeous and beautiful I'm gonna start with this like shiny color and just put it on like the inner corners I can zoom you guys in now because I have a new camera with the zoom lens. I hadn't watched a lot of anime in a long time and also these days when I watch anime, it's like I'm rewatching my old favorite shows and so like I just rewatched like Full Metal Alchemist and then I got really into like MDZS. I'm really, really into Chinese, Chinese animation right now and so I hadn't been watching anime but then I had all of these friends who were telling me about Dress Up Darling. Brief pause. Um, I'm going into my Anastasia palette and then there's this color this pink color, sorry, I'm like trying to show you this palette without spilling all of this stuff onto my bed. Um, this color in Peony, it's like a shiny pink. I'm gonna put this on the outer corner of my eyes because Marin wears like pink eyeshadow on the outside, which is fucking cute of her. I was finally able to watch the show and it was really cute. It was literally love at first sight because I didn't know anything about the series and I didn't know anything about Marin until I watched it and I was just like, oh my God, this is love at first sight. You're so cute. And I just I just love everything about her. Like I love her style. I love her personality. I love the way she talks. She's just like so ridiculously cute. I feel like this shade uh, is actually like a really good, like perfect match for the one that she actually has in the series. And then I'm taking this like darker berry shade. It's called Claret. And I'm just going to go like super, 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 super close to my lash line. And I'm just bringing in a little definition, but I don't want to add too much color because I want to keep it pink. With this like super light dabbing motion, I am dabbing like a little bit of this burgundy color on my lower lashes. That's it for my eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys this uh, eyeliner that I bought. It's this like limited edition um, eyeliner from K Palette. 
Uh, it's the One Day Tattoo Eyeliner, except this one it was a collaboration with Demon Slayer. I really like this eyeliner because it's a really nice burgundy color and I'm just gonna go like super close and I'm gonna like tight line my eyes or at least try. I'm actually really bad at it. I think the one thing I don't like about this though is that um, it actually like is kind of hard to draw with. It's not super buttery, but you know, I like the color. It's a cute collaboration. They got me, what can I say? So the biggest reason why I bought this Pat McGrath palette is because of this one shade right here. This is the best highlighter in the entire world. I just apply it with my fingers, but I'm gonna put it on the inner corner and also kind of like on the inner half of my eyelid. You can tell the difference between these two eyes with the highlighter. Just kiss. I'm using my favorite eyeliner in the world, the Illustrative Eyeliner Brush Tip in Brown by M Cosmetics. Um, Marine doesn't have like a cat eye, she kind of has like a droopier wing. So when I'm doing my cat eye, I keep my eye open so I see where my cat eye is going to lay when my eyes are open. But with my droopy eyeliner, I'm going to keep my eyelids kind of low and then I'm going to from here with my mirror kind of down here, I'm going to use like a lower angle to like follow the natural curve of my eye going downwards. Ta-da! So you can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. It also like helps to elongate your eye by pulling it outwards. And then another tip that I really like to use for cosplay makeup is rather than putting on false lashes, I like to draw them on. I'm going to draw on false lashes on like the outer, like outer half. But I prefer this method because um, with like a band of false lashes, I feel like it looks too harsh and makes my eyes look like really closed. So if I just draw them instead, I feel like it makes my eyes look a lot bigger. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on mascara. It was a total coincidence, by the way, my hair color. Um, I think like a couple of weeks ago, I made the decision that I was like, oh, I'm tired of my pink hair. I've had it pink for so long. Man, I was like thinking of so many different colors and like I wanted to go blonde and then I wanted to maybe do like a split blonde with like half lavender. I had so many ideas and I couldn't decide what to do, but ultimately I decided to do blonde, but with like a peekaboo layer of pink. And this was like a by chance, like I hadn't seen dress up darling at all. This is the Maneater mascara from Tarte. I really love this mascara because of how voluminous it is. It's just a shame that it's not waterproof because a bitch is always crying, um, but this is just one of those mascaras that you can't cry in. So I did my half blonde and half pink with my under layer and like, I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, when I started watching Dress Up Darling, I think like I like, I like watched a few episodes until one day I was like, hey, we kind of have the same hair. And then the person I was watching it with was like, wait, holy shit, you're right. And like, we didn't even notice. <laughs> it was um, right after watching, I think it was the season finale, I was like, okay, let's do this. And then I hopped in an Uber, I went to like a mall and then I just was shopping for her pieces. And surprisingly, all in one day, I was able to find all pieces of her outfit and I was like, super proud of myself. It was like a really fun scavenger hunt and I was like, wow, I feel like I'm in my own episode of Dress Up Darling. It was really cute. Oh, I'm also wearing color contacts. I forgot to tell you. Um, I wanted to have her pink contacts, but honestly, I was too lazy to order them, so I didn't. Um, luckily, she has brown eyes naturally, so I just wore my brown color contacts. So I'm going to put on two false lashes because her eyelashes are ginormous. So I'm just gonna put on these like regular ones that I have from Ardell. I really like them because they're like super wispy with like a thin um, band. And on top of that, I'm super excited for these ones. These are from Dolly Wink, and look at how fucking cute these are. I also just really liked this series because like I used to cosplay a lot when I was young but like, you know, shit happens, you become an adult. And then I just kind of like, you know, just stopped doing it. But then I watched the show and it kind of made me remember all of the things that I really liked about it. And I was like, wow, watching this show makes me want to cosplay again. But can you see there's like this little bit that's like red? It's like really cute compared to this one. It doesn't have the red. Going back into Pat McGrath. Um, I really like using this one. This is what we used for our like base eyeshadow. I just use my fingers and I kind of just like on the top a little bit over here and a little bit over there and then also a little bit over here and a little bit over 
over here. Great makeup instructions, <laughs> I know. My nails, I got them done also for Marin because she's like such a gyaru. I was like, oh, she definitely is super into her nails and she would probably do like some like cutesy like 3D stuff. So I have my amazing nail lady, Jenny in K-Town, Los Angeles, who did these nails for me. I'm gonna give you guys a close up, but I did these like 3D Sanrio nail art because I feel like it just suits her personality. And also my super cute friendship bracelets. Um, she like wears bracelets, but I didn't have any bracelets that looked similar to her. So I just like wore my own. Um, I feel like she would be a friendship bracelet girl anyway. So I made these ones and um, I made one for everybody in my life that I love. And then I also have a friendship bracelet that uh, a subscriber gave to me. They came to a fan meet of one of mine uh, this year and they gave me a friendship bracelet and so. So, what's going on with my hair is that the bottom half is pink, but Marin has like an ombre, so I have an idea. So I have like all of these extensions, so like this is actually longer than my own hair, and so if I like clip this on, I'll get like a pink peeking out from my blonde, and I feel like it'll look like an ombre. Ooh, yeah, I feel like, yes, yes, okay, yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh! This is the first time that I've put everything together with like the 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 extensions and like the costume and like the choker and like the hair and the makeup. I think that this uh, this like hair extension trick worked out so freaking well. Ah, oh, because her hair is so much longer than mine. So it definitely like looks like the proper length now. I put on these fake piercings that I have because she has hella piercings and so I have them on both ears. So yeah, uh, I guess I'm gonna go meet up with my friend now and we're gonna go break into <laughs> to this school yard so that we can take some photos and like have a picnic. It's just for fun. It's just gonna be good, fun vibes and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so fun, wow. Like seriously, watching this anime like made me remember like how much I loved, how much I loved cosplaying and how much I missed it. So yeah, this is super fun. Ah! I'm so proud of how everything turned out. Yeah, but it's something that we could do.